Hello, and today I'm reviewing Frenzy by Casey L. Bond. This is the first book in the Frenzy series. And the first thing, of course, that I notice is the cover. It is very unique. And I love how above Frenzy it says hunger is dangerous. And that if you look right here, if you see all these words, it's just the word Frenzy over and over and over and over. Which is... I thought was really kind of symbolic because this book is, a, it does have vampires in it and zombies and it talks about how when they are newly turned they are in frenzy and so I just think the repetition of the word frenzy on the cover is very eye-catching. Uh, so this book is almost dystopian in the fact that it is set in a world that has been ravaged by a virus that has killed out most of the population. And the ones that are left are living in small communities and they are having to do what they call rotation. Rotation is when you volunteer to feed a vampire once in the morning, once at night, and you agree to go hunt for the community because basically everybody is starving and they need the meat. The vampires have to go with them during these hunts because there is also what they call the infected. And the infected are basically zombies and they are constantly hungry and their bodies are deteriorating. And the newly turned or the newly infected uh, people are the most dangerous because their brains still work. Obviously, they're in the beginning, their brains haven't deteriorated yet, so they are more dangerous because they can calculate and plan and set traps. The older ones can barely uh, crawl towards you, so they're not as dangerous. Um, so, our main character is a girl who is forced into rotation by her mother because her sister has been infected. And so, it's... Uh, her story, she's a very um, sympathetic character, especially for teenage girls, because I feel like teenage girls feel like they are alone a lot. Um, I think a lot of people in general feel like that, so I think the character is very relatable. Um, her struggles are just, they make her more endearing to you, and you actually care about what happens to her because of her bravery and her caring and her attitude. So there is a bit of a romance in this and it is it like like in in the book that I also reviewed by this author, it's almost secondary to the plot in the way that the Katniss Pita romance in the Hunger Games was secondary to the plot. There is so much going on in this book to the main character that her love life is kind of second on her brain. The first thing on her brain is survival. And it is, this is just a really well written book. I think you will absolutely love it. Um, the ending is shocking. The climaxes are great. And the story in between really has moments where it'll just choke you up. So, I highly recommend it. I give this book 5 out of 5 stars. <coughs> and I'm actually going to order the second book in this series today. Because I just couldn't put this one down. It's not very thick. I finished it within a couple of hours. <coughs> it is the perfect book to read if you are in a reading slump because it is very quick to get into. So like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.